What is the creepiest thing that you've seen but no one believes you? My one weird thing was this, some friends and I were hanging out one summer's eve, we were around 15. It was night, clear, and we were all lying on my friend's trampoline in the backyard. We were just all chatting and looking at the stars. Suddenly, we're all like, what the duck? Did you just see that? We all swore we saw a formation of stars trade places with each other. They sort of left a tail, like a shooting star, before resettling in their new positions. They all moved at the exact same time. It was strange, three of us seemed to see the same thing. It was the night before my stepmom died, lost her battle to cancer. I was 22, was spending the night in bed with my 9-year-old half-brother, cuddling him and telling him his mom was gonna be okay, it wasn't gonna hurt anymore. It's about 3 a.m. at the time, and after a while he immediately sits upright in bed, smiles, says I promise to be a good boy, mommy. I love you. Now my stepmom has been bedridden for the last month, so she's not moving anywhere. But I swear on my life, and my little brother agrees with me, for a split second I saw her standing in the doorway wearing her big giant fur coat, just smiling at us and just looking relieved. Brother went to sleep about two minutes later. I left to go into my dad and stepmom's room to check on her to see my dad awake and telling me she died about half an hour ago. I genuinely believe she stopped by on her way to the other side to check in on her two kids and make sure we'd be okay without her before she left. I was working in Lagos, Nigeria, sitting in a bar on one of the lagoons near Lucky when a body washed up naked except for underwear. I called the waitress over a bit frantically and pointed at the body. She pulled a face and went back into the bar where I was expecting that she would call the police but no. She returned with a long stick with a nail on the end stabbed into his ass and pushed him out like they must have done in the past as they had made a tool for it. When I was a teenager I used to keep the remote to my stereo on the lip of my bed frame. One night around midnight I woke up to my stereo playing static at me. Only it was getting louder. I could see the volume number moving higher and higher. So it's pitch black and the static is getting louder and louder and the remote wasn't in its usual place for some reason. I had no choice but to jump out of bed to turn it off. I turned on the light and, freaking out, found it. Under my bed. Like, deep under my bed at that middle point that's super hard to reach. I was a missionary in South Africa. One of the creepiest things that happened to me, was on New Year's Eve. During that night, I woke up feeling really thirsty. I walked toward the refrigerator in the kitchen, and as I was drinking water, I turned around and the front door was wide open. I could see the stars in the black sky and hear the faint sound of crickets in the distance. Not thinking anything of it, I closed it and went back to bed. In the morning, my missionary companion woke up first and noticed the door was wide open. It was then that we realized we had been robbed throughout the night, and I still remember my heart dropping as I realized the perpetrators were most likely in the dark house while I was in the kitchen in the middle of the night. Still gives me goosebumps thinking about it. I was maybe four or five. We lived in a somewhat questionable neighborhood at the time. And looking out the window one night I swear I saw a neighbor from an app nearby with her son. He was on one of those plastic trikes. I believe she ran inside to grab a jacket. In the three minutes she was gone, a vehicle pulled up and snatched the kid and took off. His mom came back and was looking for him. I tried to tell the adults in my app but no one believed me or the other kids with us. Still the scariest thing that haunts me to this day. I don't know what it was because I don't remember it, because I was a baby slash toddler, but my mom certainly does and mentions it occasionally. I was her first kid, and when I was born my parents lived in a little old house in Scotland. Mum says that really quite often, both I and the dog would stop whatever we were doing at the same time and both look towards the stairs as if we were watching something either descend or ascend them. This is corroborated by my dad and a few of their friends who saw it happening. It's basically their friend group's weird inexplicable story. I just happened to be an unwitting part of it. Unfortunately I have no memory of this at all and the dog in question died 30 years ago, so they'll never get their answer. It's not that people don't believe me, it's more that I hardly believe it myself. It was late probably between 1 and 3 am and I was sitting at an intersection waiting for the light to go green. Across from me was a dark road with trees on either side and thick woods off to the left and houses off to the right. So I'm sitting there listening to music when I see something move at the edge of the woods to the left. 
Now this is rural New Jersey so things moving in the woods are either bears or deer which aren't scary but deer will duck your car up if run out in front of you. I turned my high beams on to see what it was but they didn't reach the woods. Then I saw more movement before the light turned green. I made my left turn and drove off but I couldn't see what it was. The next day I drive the same route on my way to work and when I get to that intersection there's cops and ambulance over at the edge of the woods where I saw the movement the night before. I asked a co-worker what happened and he said they had found dismembered body parts there early that morning. Was working at a convenience store, late shift. Just about nobody comes in from about 10.45 until we close at midnight. The way the store is set up is, from behind the counter I'm about 6 feet from the door in front of me and to my left, and directly above it are two security monitors. It's a very small store. The monitors flip through a few different camera angles, in the back, just outside the front door, in the lot, in the shed, by the coolers, and then repeat the cycle again. I'm working by myself, just me and my phone. 11 o'clock hits, nobody comes in for a while, probably 20 minutes of silence. Some time passes and I glance at the security monitor, it's showing the angle of the lot, and it shows in such a way that you could see someone's back as they enter the front door, and it's pretty dark out, so the best way to see if a customer's coming is to watch the cameras. It's at a slight delay, so I would see something happen on the monitors a second or two after it actually happened. When the angle from the lot comes back on, I see a man, from behind, enter the front door. Black guy, not too tall, letter jacket. He's got a grocery bag in his right hand. I glance down at the front door, which is just below the monitors. Nobody's there. I thought it was a glitch, maybe an old tape replaying. I watched through another cycle of the camera angles which lasts about 45 seconds or so, just to see if it would happen again. Halfway through the cycle, the door swings open and into the store steps a young man, black guy, not too tall, wearing a leather jacket. He's holding a grocery bag in his right hand. The icing on the cake was that he didn't buy anything, he just looked around for a minute and left. My mind playing tricks on me I guess, but I was spooked out of my mind. I didn't work any more nights after that. My sister saw something on several occasions throughout our lives. I never actually saw anything, only heard something extremely vividly. Basically, one night everything was happening like usual. My mom was out with her friends watching some game and my dad was watching a movie with my sister and me. It was a comedy, so we all went to bed laughing about it. I was lying in bed about half an hour after we were tucked in, reading a book. I heard somebody stomping down the hallway downstairs, and then full on sprinting up the stairs. I figured it was just my sister coming back from getting a drink or something, but I would have seen her leave her room because our doors are right beside each other, and the staircase is just around the corner. So then I figured it was just my mom coming back home and for some reason being extremely loud. The way my door is angled lets me see anybody who comes up the stairs, so I was watching and waiting as they seemed to be in quite a hurry. The footsteps were getting higher and higher up the stairs, but as soon as they got to the top, they completely stopped. There was nothing. My eyes were still totally fixed on the hallway as I got up to check who it was. I turned the corner and there was nobody. I immediately got covered head to toe with goosebumps, and tried to piece together what could have happened. Not even two seconds later I hear my sister screaming and she comes bolting out of her room with complete terror on her face. Without hesitating we run into our dad's room, where he is already standing up and asking what's wrong. My sister points back to her room crying, and says there's a man. My dad rushes into the hall, turns the light on, and then turns the light on in her room. He checks the closet and behind everything but doesn't find anything. Then he walks into my room and does the same, but still finds nothing. We spent the next 15 or so minutes holding his hand as he searched the rest of the house, flicking every single light on. He calls my mom to see if she had been home, but she says she's still with her friends. I could even hear the loud bar atmosphere through the phone speaker. We all slept in my dad's room that night. Over the course of the next 7 or so years, my sister had run out of her room crying about the same man in her room. She says he just stands there in the corner and watches her. She described him as a very tall man in a top hat and a trench coat, like a detective she said. Everything completely black. It was a couple years after that that I stumbled upon what's known as the top hat demon, or the phantom hat man. It turns out it's an actual phenomenon. Every description and drawing is exactly what she described that day. I was working at a bakery on third shift, 8 p.m. to 4 a.m., at the local orchard. The store closed at 8 but it wasn't unheard of for the owners to come in after closing. 
I had had been working there for about a week at this point. I was out stocking the shelves, so it was close to the end of our shift, so probably 3am ish. I turned to take something off of the rack and there was a man standing by the cold case. He was late 40s slash early 50s, bald, thin slash average build wearing a red flannel shirt tucked into jeans. He said hello, how are you? I said hi. I'm doing well, how are you? He said I'm fine, thank you. I put the bread on the shelf, and turned to ask who he was slash introduce myself, and he was gone. I was only turned for a few seconds so there's no way he could have left my line of sight without me seeing some part of him leaving, and I never heard any doors open or close to indicate that he left or went elsewhere in the store. I told my mom when I got home because I was like, what if someone broke in? Do I want to work at a place where people can just easily waltz in undetected? She asked me about it I told her it was weird because he was just standing there looking at a covered up cold case so he couldn't see what was actually in it, and he didn't seem like he was trying to steal anything. She told me it was probably just the owner. I met the owner a few days later. He was not the man that I saw there a few nights prior. It wasn't anyone that worked there. I had heard from co-workers that the owner was still working there because his son that was supposed to take over the business had died of cancer. That night after work I went home and looked up the son's obituary online, and I shit you not, it was the guy I saw in the store. When I was about 15 years old, school night, I woke up in the middle of the night. I remember looking at the clock, it was about 1.30 am. I went to the kitchen to make some hot tea to take back to bed with me. Now, our kitchen was attached to the dining room, which was a step down from the kitchen. The kitchen and the dining room both had large sliding glass doors and big windows facing the backyard, all on the same wall. The cabinets and counter where we kept the tea was opposite the wall of windows, and it made a little corner. I remember walking into the kitchen with the lights off, going to the tea corner of the kitchen, and then standing in the corner looking at the windows and sliding glass doors. I felt like someone was watching me through them, I got that gut feeling, you know the one. I stood there for about a minute. Very still like maybe they wouldn't see me if I didn't move. Then I went back to my room, without making the tea. When I got back to my room, the clock read 5 a.m., I had been standing in the kitchen for three and a half hours. And I had no idea how that was possible, because it only felt like maybe a minute. To this day, it is still the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me. My mom never believed me when I told her because she never felt anything bad in our house. I never did either, but that night I absolutely did. One time I had a nightmare where I was somehow brutally murdered, this was really long time ago and it was a dream anyhow so I don't remember details, but it ended up in the bathroom where I bled out over the sink. In the morning I went to the same bathroom to casually take a piss. The sink was covered in dried up blood, 